It's another day in Japan, and another day here means another day on the train. It's no surprise that these two go hand in hand, as Japan proudly boasts one of the most efficient and timely train systems in the world. With such a reliable form of transportation, it has become an integral part to getting around Japan. But as a tourist, this blessing could quickly become a curse. Between all the signs being in Japanese, the different types of trains, and dozens of platforms, it can easily become a maze and waste valuable time getting from point A to point B. Well, don't worry about that anymore, because today I'm going to teach you five tips to teach you the ins and outs of the Japanese train system. We will also use our transit from Tachikawa to Yokohama Station as an example to successfully get from point A to point B. By the end of this video, you'll know how to navigate these train stations almost as if you lived here. The first tip, and by far the most important one, is this. Learn to use Google Maps before you get to Japan. Google Maps is the lifeline to get around Japan with ease. It gives you all the information you need to easily get from one spot to the next. But to fully understand how to use Google Maps in Japan can take weeks of practice. Don't worry though, today I'm going to teach you the major points to get you started in the right direction. To start off, the most important thing is to make sure you're headed to the right station according to Google Maps. And then making sure you get to the right platform which is located here on Google Maps. Once at the right platform, Platform, it's important to make sure you're gonna take the right train. While you can try and figure it out based on whether it's a local or an express train, or if it's headed to the right station, I have found a much easier way to get it right. All you have to do is make sure the departure time on Google Maps matches the time displayed on the board for that platform. If both time and platform number matches, you're 100% on the right train. And if you have to transfer to another train, simply rinse and repeat what I mentioned before. Once you've gotten comfortable navigating Google Maps, you can start using the more advanced features like knowing when last train is and figuring out the exact time you want to arrive somewhere. Finally, once you get to your stop, you'll need to pay close attention to the signs and exits to make sure you get out of the station at the right spot. Leading me to my next tip. Number two, paying close attention to the train station signs and their exits. While you need to make sure you get off at the right stop, picking the correct exit is just as important. It is important to study the exits before making your choice because picking the wrong one can put you on the opposite side of your destination, which could waste a lot of precious time. While small local stations will only have one or two exits, major train stations in Tokyo or other big cities will almost certainly have four, five, or even ten different exits to choose from. And picking the right exit is almost as complicated as finding the right train platform. However, Japan rail companies know this and provide plenty of exit directories in all major stations. And even Google Maps knows this is important, which is where this app comes in handy once again. If you look at your arrival stop on Google Maps, it will give you the best exit that will put you closest to your destination. Just look for the yellow box on your Google Maps, look up how to get to that exit with one of the maps at the station, and that's it. Now that we've gone over the basics to easily navigate a train station in Japan, you might be wondering, what's the easiest way to purchase a train ticket so I can get around? Well, don't worry because that's next up on our list. Number three, the easiest way to buy train tickets in Japan. When buying train tickets, there are multiple ways to do this, but some are more time consuming than the others. For regular local trains, the easiest and recommended way is to buy a Pasmo or Suica card at the train station. Every train station provides this option and it's super easy to do. Just find the right ticket booth that says Suica or Pasmo above it, choose the amount you want to charge the card with, and that's it. There are apps out there where you can have an electronic version of this card, but I personally find it too much of a hassle. Having a physical IC card takes less time and is just more reliable. In fact, I still use mine from three years ago. The other option is to get a paper ticket that is issued by certain machines. I also don't recommend this option, as it's really only meant for one-time trips. And it can get extremely confusing trying to figure out how much money to put on that ticket. I mean, this map alone should be proof of how complicated it is, especially if you can't read kanji. However, if you are dead set on using this option, option, I know how to help. All you have to do is go up to the help kiosk that's located next to the gates and ask them to arrange the ticket for you. Now that we've covered the local trains, let's talk about the easiest way to buy Shinkansen tickets, which is a whole other story. Bringing us to tip number four, the easiest way to buy Shinkansen tickets. Just like local trains, there are multiple ways to purchase them. To start off, there are specific Shinkansen ticket machines that can help you purchase your tickets from start to finish. The only downside is if it's your first time using them, they can get a little confusing. But if you have enough time, you can try and figure it out 
at the booth. They also have an option for English, which makes this process much easier. However, if you want help, you can just go to the ticket office, which have massive signs overhead that you cannot miss. Not only can they help you with individual Shinkansen tickets, but they can also help you arrange the ever so popular Shinkansen passes. But the downside here is, depending on how busy the ticket office is, you could spend a long time waiting for your turn. The easiest solution, which is the one I use, is to book your Shinkansen tickets and passes online. Depending on where you're located, you can either use the JR West or East website, which are both easily found through a Google search. The process to get your passes is simple. First, you need to register an account with the website. While making an account can take a little time, this is fortunately the longest part and the rest gets easier. Once your account is fully registered, you can now easily buy your passes as many times as you want. Simply pick the pass you want, provide the proper information, and make the purchase. You will then receive your reservation number and QR code in your email. All you need to do now is go back to a Shinkansen booth, scan your QR code or input your reservation number, and you're done. Now that we've covered the basics to buying a train and Shinkansen ticket, let's cover one final tip to help you master the train stations. Number five, understanding the meaning behind the train station sounds and warnings. The first time you ever get to a train station, you will be caught off guard and bombarded with all sorts of sounds and chimes. While it might seem like they're trying to play a song for you to sing along to, each sound is a cue for something important. If you hear this one, that means the train is almost there and it's about time to get ready to board. However, if you hear a melody or sound like this, That means the train is getting ready to depart. So if it's your train, you might wanna hurry up and get on board. If you're walking up the stairs and don't hear any of the sounds, but see a lot of people coming down the stairs or sprinting up them, then there's a good chance that a train arrived and it's about to leave again. While there are several more types of sounds, melodies, and chimes, these types of cues generally remain the same. So as long as you remember these two rules, then you should be fine and won't miss your train. All right, we've gone over a lot of stuff today, but in order to quickly review everything we covered, let's go Go over an example that covers all of these points. In our example, I travel from Tachikawa Station all the way to Yokohama Station. It was a pretty long ride, but is a great example of how to use the train system. So without further ado, let's get started. To start off, Google Maps told me my train will depart from Platform 8 at 5.13. Following the signs, I found my way to Platform 8. After verifying the time of departure matched both Google Maps and the display board, I verified it was the right train and hopped on board. I also noted that I needed Needed to transfer at Masashi Kosugi Station, so I know to pay attention and get off when I reach that station. Once I got to Masashi Kosugi Station, I knew I had to get to Toyoko Line on Platform 1 based on Google Maps, and I made my way there. Like in this case, you will have to occasionally transfer between different parts of the station, so just be aware of that. If that is the case, just simply follow the signs for the train line you need. After arriving at Platform 1, I ensure everything lines up with Google Maps. Finally, after arriving at Yokohama Station, I know the exit I need to take is the main exit, so I follow the map and head that way. And just like that, I arrived at Yokohama Station exactly where I wanted to be. If you found all of this helpful, please like the video so YouTube shares this info to more people, and subscribe for more helpful Japan tips and content, so you can have a perfect vacation lined up by the time you get here. But this is just the beginning, as I plan to release more helpful videos, so you can learn everything I know and make your time in Japan as enjoyable as possible. If you want specific help planning your next Japan adventure, join the channel's Discord. Here, our helpful community and myself will help you and your friends give you all the information you'll ever need. That's gonna do it for now, and until next time, I'll see you then.